It don't feel right. You're on the wrong side. Yeah, it don't feel right. That's bad. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, weird. <laughs> wrong side. Did not know this. So it is 22.12. It's been a little bit of a busy morning so far. Yes. Finlay wasn't feeling so great last night. He um, had a headache and he had a bit of a cough. So because Danny's children were due today, we decided just to be on the safe side and do a lateral flow test, um, which did come back positive. Um, I did another lateral flow test this morning, which was still positive. So he's been for a PCR test this morning. So we're waiting on the results of those coming back. Um, so it's kind of... So it's been a bit of a, a weird situation. Um, we were supposed to have your children today, weren't we? Yeah, so children won't be coming today, of course, due to the COVID tests that we're still waiting on. Um, we're supposed to have them again this weekend, so we've had a lot of tears in the house. Oh, yeah, uh, so that's got we've had to push that back, and we'll probably have to push that back another week. It just depends on the results. Finn's upset, he hasn't seen Ruby. Ruby's upset, she hasn't seen Finn. So yeah, so it's, it's just one of them at the moment in time. Um, well, Finn is fine. He's absolutely fine. He's just got cold symptoms. Um, he's not even needed cowpole today. He's absolutely fine. He's still played his Xbox. He's totally fine. Uh, um, that in turn has meant that we're not going to do the update on Friday. Yes, yeah, so the update is now going to be pushed back. Um, of course, we want to make sure everything's quarantined, make sure everything's all right, uh, and make sure that we don't say anything out that can I contract COVID. So basically, everything's been quarantined, and yeah, do apologise. It's just the way these things are at the moment in time. I'm a little bit saddened by it because you know. Want to get I'm allowed to know. But, because we need yes. a bit of excitement. But a bit of excitement. <laughs> because we need a bit of excitement and happiness. And happiness. Um, she's let me. She's let me talk about what's coming. You know that. What I was going to explain on the thirty first October. We could do it today. <laughs> yes. He's very excited. It is because it's something I've been working on in the background, and of course with you, and with a lovely, lovely local designer as well. We have been working with a local designer. Um, so. Are you going to say what it is rather than just keeping the suspense going even more? <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to be good and I'm going to let you say it. Oh, wow. Really? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you say it. Oh, wow. Okay. So, <laughs> you're like really excited to hear. You know what this is. I know. I'm, I'm a kid. <laughs> I like this kind of stuff. We are doing our first ever... You have to keep standing there because there's washing behind you. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. So, this is our first ever mystery club. That's what we've been so excited about. It's a what? It's a mystery club. It's a mystery <laughs> club, yes it is. So, <laughs> we have been lucky enough to work with a local crafter who has designed some bags for us. So the, the mystery club will consist of a project bag suitable for socks or a small shawl. It will consist of a sock set, so you will get a 100 gram skein of 75-25 yarn and a matching 20 gram mini of 75-25. It's going to be winter themed, but not Christmas themed. Each yarn that has died is going to be totally unique. The yarn is all going to be the same though. Yeah. Um, the yarn, yes, the yarn will be the same, but there will be other goodies in there as well. Yeah. I'm really excited for it, to be honest. It's going. To, it's, it's something. It's our first ever one, so it's all it exclusive. Is. It's. It's not. <laughs> it, it's so we can see as well how you know how many in the future we need to be doing because mystery block boxes and mystery clubs is something we want to be doing from January onwards. So this is just our little tester, just to see how we get on. Yeah, because um, there's going to be a summer one. Can't wait for that one. Summer's <laughs> going to be great. So, these will go on sale on Friday. Um, they're going to be a pre-order. They won't be dispatched until the end of November. Um, the pre-orders will stay up for around three weeks, I think. And after that, we'll close the order and they will go out end of November, beginning of December. Yeah. 
And so we can put that in the update. These haven't been um, dyed yet. Um, everything will be in quarantine until after we are. As well, if, if miraculously they all sell out and you're desperate and you want one, we'll get you one. I don't want you to feel that we've only got 10 because we do have 10, but if you want another one, we can do another one. So we have 10 available. Um, and they, like I say, they will go into the update at 7 o'clock on Friday night. I'm really sorry the rest of the update has been pushed back, but I just I want to make sure there is absolutely no risk of any contamination in any way. Hopefully, the update will go ahead after hopefully, our yeah, 10 hopefully. days are up. Um, a week on Friday. Yeah. A week on Friday for so next right my mouth. <laughs> we'll keep you in the loop as well on Instagram with the colourways that are coming. Uh, some may be black or white. <laughs> don't want to show the colours and um, yeah so thank you very much thank you very much for the lovely comments I do hope you join us in our lovely mystery box prize and uh, yeah very excited hope you're excited too and uh, yeah see you in a bit bye you alright? Well, look who's turned up <laughs> Sneak bit. Bye. Here he is. How was the COVID test this morning? Not the best. Not the best. You were very good though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you need a haircut then. Okay. <laughs> you growing your hair long like Josh. Mm -hmm. Josh has really long hair, doesn't he? But well, you don't know because Josh doesn't want to be in camera. Oh, but he does have long hair. No. Yeah. Do you want some dinner? Josh doesn't want to be famous yet. <laughs> Do you want some dinner? Yeah? yeah. yeah. I shall go make you dinner, darling. Yeah. There's the pooch. Hello, Ruby. Just going to take the poly boy's lunch. Here you are. <laughs> She's wondering why she hasn't got her food. She's seen your lunch. Excuse the state of the lounge. I've not cleaned up yet. I'll do it in a bit. It's now half past four. And I'm just making tea. We are having sausages, mashed potato and peas tonight. Had a nice relaxed afternoon. Finlay's fine still. He's just uh, chilling out and relaxing. He's not feeling too badly. So I'm just going to get on with this. Still haven't cleaned up though. Ooh, just nearly chopped my finger though. That's not good. Danny always takes the mick out of me the way I chop vegetables. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to Get this tea on. Need to get a little bit of cleaning done. And then I'm gonna spend the evening finishing off my show as your scratch mitts. Knocking stuff flying on the worktop. Um yeah, finish finish off the show as your scraps mitts. Oh, hang on, the dog wants feeding. You've got a bowl full of biscuits there, Mrs. You want your meat, don't you? What was I saying? Wanted to get all the advents sent off this week as well, but that's not going to happen now. So I'm not going to be touching anything. Nothing yarny corner wise, anyway. Just in case. It was only a matter of time before we got it to. <laughs> Thank you for the people that had noticed Ruby photo bombing on the other vlog, on the vlog the other night. I did actually notice when I was editing what she was doing, the little monkey. It's quite funny, bless her, I think she wants in on the camera action. 
Yeah. He's trying to get in on the camera. Look, look there. Jack, what are you doing? <laughs> He's sat right on the wash basket. I didn't even notice him. Yeah, I've not had sausage and mash for ages, so I'm really looking forward to this. But you can Hi. only have it. Hi. You can only have it, or I can only have it with petit pois. Is that how you say it? How do you say them peas? Petit pois. Don't know if that's how you say it. The little tiny peas. I can only eat it with that. And I can only eat mashed potato if I mix my peas into it and I've got to have ketchup. It's probably the only meal that I still eat in the same way that I ate it as a child. I don't ever eat ketchup apart from when I'm having sausage and mashed potatoes and peas. I hate lumpy mash. And I find that if you mix your peas into it, you don't know if there's any stray lumps got in there. It's now ten past six and I've done a great deal but I'm working on my snooper blanket it's back out again and I've painted my nails <laughs> so it's not been too bad of a day I'm surrounded by animals what are you doing? one can you see the other one? here we go Jack and Ruby so it's been a pretty relaxed day. I've not done a great deal other than work on my shawl and work on my Snoopy blanket and drink endless cups of tea. So there's not great, been a great deal to show you today. Hmm. Hopefully I'll think of something to show you in a little while. I hope Jack's getting closer and closer to my Snoopy blanket. Oh, I have done absolutely nothing today. I've been so lazy and I need a new candle. My candle is nearly gone. I love this candle holder. Had it for years. Isn't it gorgeous? So pretty. And this is <laughs> the extent of my knitting today, how bad is that? I even had some chocolate to keep me going. I've got my show as your scraps mitts in there. I've got my Salem sweater in there. I've got my shawl in there. <coughs> my Snoopy blankets in there and my autumn blanket. <laughs> Do you know how much I love you? 